Hey everyone, it's your girl Jassy, aka J Renee, back at it again with another video. So today we're gonna be making like a bunch of stuff from this shirt that I got. So if you recall, I made um a one dollar like shirt thrift thrift flip, and so yes, I got this shirt, the same not this one, but the same shirt um that I'm using in this video from the dollar store. So the shirt was a dollar. The shirt was a five XL. I don't have a before and after which I don't understand why I did that. That was very stupid of me, but whatever. So we're gonna see how much we can make, how many things we can make from this one 5XL t-shirt. Before we get into the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on my post notifications so you don't miss a video. Other than that, let's get into the video. But first, we're gonna start with the TikTok, um, just so you can see how I bleach the shirts, and then we're gonna get into the video because that's just how the video is set up today. So, yeah. We are going to bleach dye some shirts today. I used a little spinny method and I also used yarn instead of rubber bands because I didn't have any and I had plenty of yarn. And I wet this one because I've seen it somewhere. This is the bleach I used and it wasn't showing up at first so I did another one. This one started to show up but not a lot so I just like drenched both of them in bleach. And they weren't lightening up as much as I wanted them to right away so of course I just let them sit for a little bit and I even put them in the sun. Hey, there's me, hey. And when I came back, they looked a lot better. So I just took them apart and rinsed some of the bleach out and put it in the washer and dryer. This is how they came out, so follow me to see what I do with them next. We are first starting with this crop tee. So we're gonna take this large shirt and lay it out. This was 5XL, like I've mentioned before. We're using another shirt that we have cut up. Don't mind the front of it. Um, but we cut the shirt into all the parts, the front, back, and the side. So we're just gonna lay that out along the neckline and fold it up a little bit to make it cropped because this was normally like a medium-sized shirt, but I wanted it cropped. So we're just gonna line that out with our chalk all the way around and use that same line at the end to transfer it over to the other side. Turn it around and now we're going to line up that line with the back of the shirt that we've cut beforehand and trace that out as well. Um, I didn't measure the same amount from the front and back for the cropped part, but we are going to fix that later. So we're just tracing out the whole thing now And starting at the shoulder line, we're gonna cut a line and then cut back and front out individually all the way around where we have made the lines. Be sure to be careful with this and take your time with everything. Yes. And so now that we have that cut out, we are going to flip it inside out and match up these shoulder seams, the front and back seams together. Make sure it's inside out and pin them together on the sides. And of course, do that to both sides. Now we're just gonna sew that down real quick and then come back. So now that it's sewn down, we're gonna cut off all that excess that we don't need. Now we have to cut out our sleeves. So using the sleeves of the original shirt and the shirt that we've, the gray shirt that we've cut out before, we're just gonna cut around that whole rounded sleeve, keeping the same shape and everything. And then do that using the same one that we just cut, use that as a template for the next one. And so if we turn it inside out, we have to pin those straight sides together and then also hem that long um, side, just so we can have a hemmed sleeve as well. So we're gonna hem it first bringing it to the sewing machine, just doing a straight stitch all the way down that one side of the sleeve. Now putting together with the right sides facing each other, we have to sew down that 
one part where the sleeve connects to each other and do that to both sleeves and to attach the sleeves well first we're gonna cut off all the excess to attach the sleeves put this make sure the sleeve is right side out and the shirt is inside out we're gonna match those bottom seams with the side seam of the shirt and the side seam of the sleeve and then pin all the way around it should match up pretty well um just pin all the way around the opening of the sleeve and then do that to the other side and sew that down as well and now once we come back it was just a straight stitch i didn't record that but it was just a straight stitch all the way around we're cutting off the excess and we are basically almost finished all we have to do is turn it right side out and cut off the difference between the front and the back and then hem it all together so again turn it inside out again we could have left it inside out it doesn't matter um and then now with it inside out we're gonna hem the bottom using a straight stitch on the sewing machine And once you finish that, that's all for the crop tee. So now onto the halter top. So I'm using a halter top kind of pattern from this shirt that I already have. Um, yes, use your resources. And we're just going to trace that out like we did before. All the way around, we're gonna crop that as well and just make it as straight as possible. I'm not a perfectionist, so I just be drawing anything. And then cut that out. As you can see here, we're just gonna cut it out into this halter top shape and really all for this is we just gotta hem all the sides there's no real part to this i'm taking another piece of scrap fabric and cutting out two strips let's just say they're about four inches wide and 12 inches long let's just say that because i don't really know how long they were i just eyeball everything and so i'm trying to make them the same size and then also have them dip down a little bit almost to like pointed ends and now they're the same size so now all we have to do is hem those down um folding the sides inward and then sewing that down so now we're going to hem the halter top part and we're just going to fold inward everything like you know how to hem double rolled hem and sew that down as well And to place this back strap on, the wider part is going to be attached to like the edge of the curved part, as you just watch and see it. And then at this top part, um, we're gonna fold it down about a half inch or more, rolled hem, just so we can make room for the strap later. And then taking a straight stitch, we're gonna sew that all down and to go around we're just going to lift up the presser foot and pivot all the way around and then we're going to stop before we get to the strap part from the back because we have to sew that down first we probably should have did that first but that's okay we're going to sew that down and then we're going to top stitch it while folding down the rest of that side part so if you just watch you can see i'm top stitching and then also folding down stitching over that folded part at the bottom we're gonna do a plain straight stitch nothing new everything good and simple and do the same thing to the other side with that strap that we made and that's how it should look so for this um next strap we're taking the bottom hem of the t-shirt the original t-shirt and folding that in half and sewing that down and making a strap so just sew that straight down and that's how it should look we're gonna add a safety pin to it and shimmy it through the top part of the halter top so we can have a little neck strap and it's really as simple as that And that's our halter top for real, for real. 
how easy was that? Yeah, cut off all those ends and whatever. And so now, time for the shorts. So we're gonna take this bottom half of the shirt that we haven't used yet, taking a pair of shorts, we're tracing out everything from another pair of, from other clothes that we have because that's what we got, so that's what we're gonna use. And tracing all the way around, making sure that curved crotch is like long enough and wide enough for space for your butt and whatever. And fold it the other way and do that with both the front and back. Make sure the fabric that you are working with is double layered so you can cut two out of each of them because we need two fronts and two backs. And then just like before, we're going to cut them all out as simple as that and make sure they are all lined up. Now we're gonna put the front two layers over each other with front sides kissing, front sides facing, and just pin along that curved edge from the top to the curve. That's what we're gonna pin. And we're gonna do the same thing to the back side. So put them right sides together and pin them on that curve and then sew them down. Once we've sewn them down, put the top over the bottom and starting from the bottom edge so everything can line up, we're just gonna pin on the side. Y'all know how to make these shorts. If y'all don't know how to make the shorts, I have another shorts tutorial on my page so you can go watch that after this video. We are also going to pin the crotch as well as the two sides. So just keep pinning and in no time you all will already have your shorts because they're looking like shorts already, which is great. So now let's go sew that down. Once we have sewn that down, we're just going to cut off some of the excess at the top that hasn't made the cut. And now we're going to make the tunnel for the waistband. And so really I'm just folding down like a half an inch from the top and making and pinning that down to make the waistband. Bring it to the sewing machine. I'm gonna pin closer to the edge of that fold that I made and just make a straight stitch all the way around until I get to the end and I'm gonna leave a gap just so I can put in the elastic. Yes, elastic time. So we're just gonna measure out the elastic for your waist and then cut that. Put a safety pin on it and shimmy it through the waistband. Y'all know how it goes, regular waistband things now we're gonna go sew that down with a couple zigzag stitches to make sure that is very secure keep sewing 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 and once we have that sewn down and it's secure we're gonna close that gap that we made for the elastic And that's all for those shorts. Now let's time for the accessories. First up is the face mask. I'm using some extra fabric that we have. This pattern I got online, it was a free mask pattern and there's a bunch of tutorials everywhere. So I didn't really do a whole mask tutorial, but I made like three masks from the rest of the stuff that I had from this shirt, which is a lot. It was just a lot of fabric and it was just a great project to do. And so I made a bunch of like little masks. So I think this one is the headband next. I'm just cutting out like this rectangle piece, then folding it in half and making sure both sides are the same width and length and everything. And then I'm gonna cut that all the way down and iron. I didn't really need to iron it, but I'm gonna fold in the edges to hem it and everything. This is just like a simple headband or whatever. Now I'm gonna take some ribbon, two pieces exactly, and sew that down with a straight stitch. I used these picking shears so the ribbon wouldn't fray. And I'm gonna sew that down with just a straight stitch and that's really it for the headband. This is all the scraps I had left, but I got three masks from this. Those are the three masks that I made. I, they obviously aren't finished, but I'm gonna finish those. 
I got my halter top. What else did we get? I got my cropped top, my cropped tee. And last but not least, our shorts. And look at these matching sets. Like, wow. So that was, I, oh, and a scrunchie, forgot to mention. I got a scrunchie too. So I got a lot for all of this. Oh yeah, and the headband. How did I forget that? The headband as well. So again, I got a lot for just this $1 t-shirt that I got. So let's try all of these on. Here is the halter top with the shorts. This was really cute. The shorts could really go either way. Um, you could wear them in the front or the back and i turned the shorts around but this is the shorts with the crop tee which is really cute and now we're looking at the headband and the scrunchie sets and these were all really cute and i got a lot for my money so yeah i'm really happy about that and here is one of the masks that i finished with the headband it all looks like really cute well that's all for this video make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on my post notifications so you don't miss a video i'll see you in the next one bye